Hello, welcome back. This is episode 17 of Undertale Color Playthrough. We are back in Hotland and ready to continue our adventure. It would be nice to go this way, but Undyne told them there was a human in the area. They don't know I'm a human, but they're blocking up the elevators. Which aren't working anyway. But if it's Undyne who told them to block them, and I'm friends with Undyne now, I could call her. for that plan but we have learned something more about Alphys and Undyne. There are other phone calls I could make that would show how uh, Alphys placed the water in there for her and how Alphys makes hot ice cream for Undyne but I think we've seen enough for now. You can do it yourself if you want to see the whole thing. So. There's something interesting about this place. See my face over there? It looks like there's a camera that took a photo of it and it's still, but this, that's because I'm running Linux. If you play the game on Windows, the camera will follow me around, follow you around, and it will show you walking and show every place, place you go to as long as you can still see the screen of course and apparently it's too dark to see near the world, walls even though we can see everything from here but well there's nothing we can do except keep walking <laughs> Were you expecting me? Well, of course you were, you were watching me with your cameras. And now we meet the famous Dr. Alphys. Sounds like a script for an old science fiction movie. It's 
script for a bad sci-fi movie. complicated if not for the fact that Alphys is giving us the answer with her hands so no oh, doubt. No. the counter is going up, Metatron really wants me to say that I would smooch a ghost. And the way Alphys is looking at him, uh, there's a reason for all of this. You may have already guessed what it is, but yeah, why not? Great answer, I like it. is not going down. Uh, we already know that Undyne has a crush on Alphys. Let's see if it's mutual. Alphys does a lot of things for Undyne, so... Yes! Oh, she's going red. <laughs> Yes, it was. 
So he was supposed to ask the other ones. Okay. And this makes me wonder how long he's been waiting there. But yes, you can see something suspicious here. and never gives me her phone number, but she upgraded my phone. And she suddenly decided to become my friend. And she got too nervous and is running away from me. Okay, but that gives me a chance to inspect her house. Yes, instant noodles. Ah, this is a cup shaped like a yellow lizard that looks a lot like Alphys and that was given to her by Asgore and as we shall see some other time. Yeah, I think you already know which puzzle it's accessing. And there she is hiding from me <laughs> right behind the door. And this is Alphys's room and her library. that makes the hot ice cream which Alphys gives Undyne and the grass on the top is the main ingredient of the ice cream which is why the grass is under scientific protection Ah! Oh! <laughs> nice! Dirty lab coats and a single clean dress the dogs told us about that were written by Doggo on behalf of the whole canine unit and apparently some froggit and Snowy aka Snowdrake have written to her too but she hasn't opened any of the letters Okay, 
so now you know if you want to draw anything from Undertale, you can try drawing this. And this one is nice. So, Metaton was very grateful to all this for making his dream come true. Even though we don't know what his dream was yet, but now he's making fun of her, something happened between them, and we are going to find out eventually. Wait, I'm going to save first. Oh, and if you heard the last part of this song that plays in the lab, that's what Undyne was playing in the piano. On the piano. Okay, I am going to save now. And I think I will stop for now and start exploring the area in the next episode. See you soon!